Hi guys, I trust you are well. This is your monthly reading for all the cancer peoples. Happy, happy birthday to all the cancer peoples as well. Um, basically what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go through week for week to see what might come on your path, what might happen, how can we steer you clear of situations. So let's quickly see. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I appreciate. Okay, so week one for the cancer people. Week one. Okay. Surrender to the wonder and awe. Surrender to the wonder and awe. I'm going to read this for you. Open to the magic. Of every moment and sense, the awe and wonder of all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy flow. Okay, so week one for the cancer peoples. Week one. We've got the lovers and the page of swords. Information. It can be information coming from your person of interest. It can be information coming where you need to make a choice and decision of two people, two situations. Week one for cancer people. Week one. Week one. Okay, God just turned. Okay, we've got the three of pentacles that came out first. Three of Pentacles is saying that you want to collaborate, you want to assist someone, someone wants to assist you. We've got with the, the break of the deck, the Three of Swords and the Sun. It can be regarding a past situation. It might have even been regarding a past, you know, um, three party, third person situation. And it doesn't always have to be a person. It can be... Um, family, friends, siblings. Here comes the choice again. With the two of wands, it's saying that you need to make a choice between either two people or two situations. It can be regarding a money matter as well. And that is why it is asking you to surrender to the all. But the two of cups, this is like, you know, the minor arcana for the soulmate's twin flame. Again, it is twos. We've got two twos now. And we've got the hermit. And the hermit, this, this can be regarding a Virgo person. It doesn't have to be. But it's standing me, and we've got the page of swords again at the end of the deck. Um, week one is telling me that you want to collaborate. You want to um, make a choice and decision of two people or two situations. And... It can be regarding a love connection as well. Um, it all depends. I just want to quickly do this. Um, that I don't have too much sun. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So there is going to come some information to you. Um, it might be regarding a Virgo person giving you information. It doesn't have to be. Um, but choices and decisions. Um is week week one open to the magic of every moment and sense i would say you know as well cancer regarding week one ensure that you make sure that your senses are open all your senses as you go into week one and like i said happy happy birthday as well um for all the cancer peoples so let's quickly see week two for the cancer peoples. Week two. Week two. Week two. For the cancer peoples. Surrender to resentments. I'm going to read this for you as well. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward. 
towards positive situations in your life. Week two. You come into your own reading, or this can be a fellow water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. It's just confirmation. We've got the Queen of Wands. This can be you. That has got Sagittarius, Leo, Aries within your astrological birth chart, or this can be someone else. Or it can be, like I said, you are embodying this these queens in week two. We've got the King of Pentacles. This can be an Earth sign person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or with a lot of Earth within their astrological birth chart. <coughs> it might be that due to the fact of past situations, past people that has possibly been dishonest with you, we've got the Eight of Wands, um, that you have now closed yourself off of many people and situations. Um, you have now got rid of most of this deceitful, dishonest people in your life. And now it's asking you to basically surrender to resentments. Um, try to forgive quickly and easily. You don't have to forget, but do it sincerely. Um, and then we've got the emperor. It can be regarding a father figure a mother figure, a boss. Um, I feel that this person is going to communicate with you and give you a lot of information about many, many things regarding possible resentments in the past. It can be regarding a family situation as well. Um, and the, this, this information is going to be communicated to you because we've got the five of wands and the nine of wands at the end of the deck. Just to see if you can see it. Um, so either you or a person is feeling a sense of defensiveness, inner conflict, overthinking, contemplating. And someone wants to come towards you and give you the information, or it might mean travel, it might mean um, a mail, the someone also wants to come and possibly give you a sense of apology or have some sense of renewal regarding a relationship with you that possibly went south in the past. Um, again, it's your choice and your decision. It is asking you to surrender to resentments um, if you want to pursue um, a relationship with this person again. Um, your choice, it's your decision. Um, but I would recommend and say, you know what? Um, sincerely forgive. Because that is when, when, when we are unable to sincerely forgive, we are standing in our own blessings and abundance. Because we think if we keep our resentments and our grudges to ourselves towards the other people, it's going to fix or hurt the other people and it's not going to it's not going to because the thing is now that is how life normally works in the sense of if you are able to forgive a person then the wheel of fortune or the karma wheel can continue but every time when you hold back a resentment or a grudge you're standing in your own way Okay, week three, surrender to always being right. I think Gemini got this card as well. I'm going to read this for you. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve relationships. Um, again, put yourself in the situation. Is this you? Is it someone else? um that wants to be right the whole time you know again it is going to cost you patience patience doesn't cost money you grow patience um okay so you've got the three of cups happy joyous times family friends weddings blessings baptisms um friendships 
regarding a home situation or a family situation with the Ten of Cups. So the message that I'm getting here, and you've got the Death card at the end of the deck. The message that I'm getting here is um, for week one, two, and three is that This month is a month of fixing things in the sense of, yes, something's happened in the past. People has caused you, you know, hurt, sadness, and dishonesty, and um, possibly have been deceitful towards you, and also have, you know, put you through third party situations. Um, this is giving you an option and a choice. Do you, sorry, do you want to pursue this? Do you want to um, fix this? Um, but don't have grudges and resentment towards this. Oh, my word, the sun. But anyway, doesn't matter. We want sun. Definitely we want sun. Um, it's coming to an end. It's coming to a change with the death card. There is a renewal. Death and rebirth of a situation. Um, that has possibly been a bit stagnant in your life. Now, there is something coming to an end. Um, and there's going to be some sort of renewal regarding a person or a situation or a job, you know, situation. Quick fall. Surrender to your ego. And I think Gemini got this as well. Or oh, Aries. I think it was Aries. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from the heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Um, so, it's either you or this person. You need to decide who has got the big ego and who's got the pride um, regarding the situation. It can be work, family, home. Um, but like I said... Um, in the sense of having resentments and grudges, you are standing in your own way. Um, yeah, you've got the Page of Pentacles, a new opportunity coming in. It can be a money opportunity, career opportunity, stable, abundant flow, but it's going to come in very slow. Um, you've got the King of Wands. You earlier had the Queen of Wands. Um, it can be regarding a new opportunity in love with a fire sign person, so Terry's Leo Aries. 1212, um, 12, um, I would say, um, look maybe at the angel number 1212. 12. You've got the Three of Wands and you've got the Seven of Cups. Gemini got the same cards, waiting for something, waiting on someone, waiting. The Seven of Cups, um, I see as a maze card in the sense of making the right cho choices and decisions. If this door closes, go towards the next door and see if it opens. You are at a so sense of fork in the road. You need to possibly make a choice and decision. Um, and that's just choices and decisions um, in the month of July. But you're waiting. You are either waiting for someone to come towards you. You are waiting for money to come towards you. You are waiting for a career opportunity to come free. But there is a sense of waiting. But it's asking you to possibly, within the month of July, you know, and, and see where you put yourself in the situation in the sense of surrender to always being right, surrender to resentments. Who has got resentments in this dynamic in this family in this work in this home environment who has got resentments who has got grudges um who wants to be always right ask yourself that question who sorry who has an ego regarding a situation ask yourself that question because the thing is i think i've asked gemini peoples i said um ask yourself what are you in control of and what is out of your control? And decide from there and possibly have, you know, patience. Because I feel that there might be delays, but I mean, there is new opportunities coming in um, that will give you a long-term sense of stability and happiness. So, yeah, um, it 
might be a pivotal change regarding past people, past situations, grudges and issues in the recent past. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, look after yourself. Stay safe. Bye, guys.